It is not that we have too little time to do the things that we need to do. It is that we feel the need to do too many things in the time that we have. Gary Keller When you think of Tiger Woods, what do you think of? How about Tom Brady or Bill Gates? These three individuals all have something in common. They are great at what they do. That is obvious. What we find interesting is not that they are great. It's what they have in common that has led to their success in their individual endeavors. Tiger's golf career started as a young boy playing golf with his dad. Before anyone had heard of him or saw him walking down the fairway on Sunday with his trademark red shirt, he had spent countless hours chipping, putting, and hitting irons. As Tom Brady has continued to rack up wins and Super Bowl trophies, plenty of articles have focused on the extra practices he put in, his knowledge of both his offense and the defenses he faces, and his seemingly obsessive attention to diet and rest. To become the household names that they are, they have all harnessed the power of focusing on the one thing. Bill Gates might be the best example of this of all. In high school, Bill had one passion, and that was computers. He spent most of his time developing one skill, programming. This led him to one job in high school, also focused on computer programming. When Gates founded Microsoft, they were focused on one piece of programming for one style of computer. He is now one of the most powerful and successful men alive. This is the theme of The One Thing by Gary Keller. It is easier said than done, so Keller helps us to find why and how to do this in a few different ways. To start the process of focusing on the one thing, Keller poses a singular question, the focusing question, that is central to this book. What is the one thing that you can do such that by doing it, everything else will become easier or unnecessary? By answering this question, you can start a domino effect of powerful and substantial results quicker than by working on many smaller, more random tasks. Keller explains that a falling domino can knock over the next domino that is 50% bigger. This means that a 2-inch domino can result in a domino taller than Mount Everest falling just 31 iterations later. Success is built sequentially, not simultaneously. Answer the focus questions, knock over that domino, then answer it again. Repeat this process and you will have big results. The next key concept is using the 80-20 rule. This rule, also known as Pareto's principle, says that 20% of your efforts will result in 80% of your results. If you have 10 things on your to-do list, eliminate all but two of them that will make the biggest difference. Focus your energy and effort there rather than on the eight tasks that will bring only 20% of the results. Keller says you can continue this process, finding the 20% of the 20% and so forth until you are spending your time on the most specific task that will yield the biggest results. Once you narrow your focus, you can also stop juggling different tasks in a vain effort to productively multitask. Multitasking is merely the opportunity to screw up more than one thing at a time. Steve Uzel. While this is a popular skill to advertise on resumes in today's job market, multitasking has been proven to be inefficient. Each time you bounce from one task to another, you pay what can be thought of as a tax. The more complicated the tasks are, the bigger the tax is going to be. Your brain has to upload the rules, knowledge, and ideas surrounding a task before starting on it. And by jumping between two tasks, the brain is constantly rebooting. This can lead to poor choices in work quality, stress, and low productivity. To help limit the urge to multitask, Keller promotes what he calls productivity's greatest power tool, time blocking. This means that you set up your day with large blocks of time designated for specific purposes. This also allows you to give bigger blocks to the one task that you want to focus on. Keller recommends blocking off large chunks of time for the following three things. Your time off, your one thing, and your planning time. By planning for each of these, you can rest when you should be resting, work on the one thing for a large period of time each day, and chunk out plenty of time to plan and evaluate the focusing question and priorities for the day, week, or month. Remember, it's not that we have too little time to do all the things that we need to do. It is that we feel the need to do too many things in the time that we have. By focusing on the one thing, you can spend your time productively working on the tasks that are going to make the biggest difference and leave the others to the side. Thanks for watching. 
If you have a book, article, or saying you'd like us to animate, we'd love to hear about it. Leave your ideas down in the comments below. And before you go, please make sure you like the video by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you know when we release new animations.